Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 37. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now with some concept cars. We're going to be taking the Lamborghini Miura concept, basically the modernization of the Miura, similar to what they've done with that new Countach. Uh, they did that with the Miura a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, like nearly 20 at this point. 15 years ago. Anyways, Sunset Peninsula Raceway, New York Circuit, and then Miguelo Autodromo Internazionale. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, nice new Lamborghini. Oh, hello. Engine sound is nice. I like the classic look of this as well. Like old school dials, even for a modernized Lamborghini. Quite nice. Did the original Miura have four wheel drive? I don't think it did. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's that say? Centro Steel. I don't know what that means. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that thing wasn't turning as much, and then once I sort of gotten past that curb, it was just going. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He fucked your mum in a bum. <laughs> Honestly. Absolutely chucking it down out there. Oh, you see. Oh my god, it's the car that loses all traction past 160 miles an hour. To be honest, this car's actually quite stable. Don't diss my little Mura like that, Zeno. You and I will have beef. <laughs> uh, I love this little car. It is beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, it loses traction at 70 miles an hour, not just 160. <laughs> I still like the car. It's cool. There you go. First place. That's six grand. Woohoo! We got a 20% discount on intake manifold and throttle body and oil and cooling upgrades. Whoa! So yeah, this song's from Horizon 3, but I was already a fan of Benny Benassi before it was added to Horizon 3, so. This is um, the Beardo song, which is just the instrumental, which was added to Horizon 3. But the actual full song does actually have some lyrics in it. It might have been in another game that I don't know of, but the one that I know it from... 
and that I know it's definitely in. Jesus Christ, that under seal was ridiculous. Uh, the one that I know it's in is Horizon 3, so. Bing, bing, bong. The amount that you have to slow down for that. Unreal. You know what I'd love to see? Other than a working Lamborghini Miura right now. I'd love to see Lamborghini make a car like this. Because the Miura was a uh, manual Lamborghini. If they could make a sports car like this. That's slower than a hurricane. That's like fighting for small sports car territory. Cost maybe 80 grand, maybe. It might have been, I'm not 100% sure. This is obviously the Mura concept, this isn't the actual Mura that came out in the 60s. But, um, yeah, I think they should make, like, a cheaper sports car. Obviously, something that can do maybe 170, 180 top speed. Manual, 6 speed, maybe 7 speed. Probably would have to be 7 speed. But a manual gate shifter. Not flappy paddles, like an actual gate shifter. H pattern shifter. That would be awesome. One of the first of that layout on the road anyways. At the time it was seen as too dangerous and only used in race cars. Yeah, I mean, I see why it's quite dangerous. Because it makes the cars too fast. It's not the historic Lambo, it's fucking concept. That probably makes it worse because there's probably less of these on the road than there is of fucking... <laughs> actual Murica from the 60s. There's probably less of these on the road. <laughs> if this is historic, then that means the Gallardo's historic. Cheers for calling me old. <laughs> Baby, you grab my attention. Pop! The dimension. Because the Gallardo's as old as this. Gallardo was like 2007, this is 2006. Stop this feeling, make me only, can make me come alive. There you go. Six grand, not bad, I'll take it. We got a 20% discount on air filter upgrades. Nice. Here we go. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Why does it pause me music? There we go, much better. Yo, Tapper, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Yes, car. Vroom vroom. Overdrive. Overdrive. It's a good tune. I think this is Horizon 3 as well. I love this game. It allows me to commit tax evasion. Mm, no. Because... Technically speaking, a lot of the prices of this game that were calculated with normal prices, so no. But in an ideal world, this game probably wouldn't have taxes, so technically it's not committing tax evasion if the taxes don't exist. So no. Not a crime if you don't get caught. But again, if there's no taxes, then there's no crime. So,
Bing, 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 bing. This is one of the games ever made. There was a lot of games ever made. F1 theme mech edition. Bam, 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 bam. You notice that I had cars after 50 hours of gameplay. Well, again, there's another problem because you can't play this game with any form of gameplay without driving a car. So, the theory is flawed, my guy. Don't hold back. In the air, cause I'm here, here, where the people care. Don't hold back, world. The time is gone too. Well, yes, but you can't do 50 hours of gameplay without getting into a car. You can't even do five minutes of gameplay before you're thrown into a car. It's not bad. I love this circuit, it's so nice. Getting close to level 44, hopefully we actually get an R1 car for that, but not bad, 7 grand. The time's come to galvanize. Alright, so we're here for the uh, supercar road test now. Uh, and we can finally take the Bugatti Veyron, I'm so excited. I love the Bugatti Veyron in this game, it's amazing. I love the Bugatti Veyron in general. I completely forgot to read out what tracks we're doing, so... Enjoy the surprise. Now that is a beauty. The only problem I have with that is it's spaghetti. I think it's going to be a nightmare to drive around this track, but oh my god, there's another one. Holy shit, this is the fastest car in this game, pretty much. I love the spaghetti Baron. It's so brilliant. Look at the interior as well. The only thing that is kind of disappointing about this game is the fact that there's no active aero, but... I mean, when you think about it, Motorsport 4 has it, so it's all good in the hood. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. <laughs> Ah, crap. I've been overtaken by a Bugatti Veyron whilst driving a Bugatti Veyron. How awesome is that? Share on Super Sports is actually going to be in Forza. Because they added the Bugatti Chiron in uh, Motorsport 7. And then it was in the base game for most, uh, Horizon 4 and 5.
There's been quite a lot of uh, one-off Bugattis, though, that they've brought into the game. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. Go, go, go. Bing, bing, bing. Every step I take is heavy with the dog. I forgot it's September as well this month, so all new subs are um, 30% off. Woohoo! Every breath I take is heavy with the thought of you. Man. It didn't come up with a ghost thing. Saving ghosts. Interesting. Uh, we got a 10% discount on ignition upgrades by Magneti Morelli France. Ooh. All right. Bugatti. This one is three laps? Oh, interesting. Pretty cool to be able to drive some uh, faster cars, even in like the earlier events. Is why I love the progression in this game because it's so vastly mixed. There's such a wide variety of different stuff. Ah, oh, Kodo with a gifted sub. You are a legend, my man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. That gifted sub. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you very much for the support, man. Hit PN penis. Lovely. Yeah, thank you very much. Ah, oh, shit, I've got a gifted sub at the end of the stream. I forgot about that. So uh, someone in the chat could win themselves a gifted sub. Woohoo! Charming. We now have an entire discussion about white juice. I feel very honored to be part of this conversation. Not. Hey, sister. I think this is this was in uh, Dirt Two. I've just got a blood splatter of fucking a, a moth like squashed on my monitor because it was pissing me off. It had been flying in my face all night. I squashed it and it's just stuck on my monitor. I'm trying to clean it off and like wipe it off. And it's just... Can't be asked. It's just, it's just gonna stay there. Because uh, I like the Veyron, funnily enough. It is an engineering masterpiece that only got achieved by Bugatti and the Volkswagen group. And was pretty much the only engineering masterpiece that existed up until 2010. I know it's a bit ugly, but... Then again, you can't make a Bugatti with its signature style look like a... What's it called? Fucking Ferrari, can you? Same as a Ferrari. You can't make a Ferrari look like a Porsche. They've got their own style. Mm -hmm. 
to be honest, I think the only car that even comes close in terms of technology, probably Koenigsegg's. Chiron does not look good. The Chiron's just a Bugatti Veyron, but with more lines. At least this one's clean and tidy. Chiron, it looks like, hmm, it doesn't look quite look good enough. Let's add another line there, and another line there, and another line there. And it does absolutely nothing to it except make it look pointy. What do you mean? The Chiron's wider. This has more height to it. The Chiron's a little bit flatter and more stanced. Okay, Spa is a shit track. Spa is shit, and you can call Spa shit, and I won't care. Spa is... The thing is, Spa is good for certain motorsports like Formula 1. I think it's a good track, but anything else is just... The long straight is too long. You end up just, like, sat there like, Oh, what are we doing? Could go online shopping while we're on the long straight. Then you've got some really long sweeping corners that you're literally on the corner for like 10 plus seconds. Couple of ridiculous hairpin corners. Some chicanes that are like, again, the length of some of the corners on that track are just too long for anything other than F1 cars. I, I prefer Koenigsegg over Bugatti, I will agree. But Koenigsegg's only become a technological advancement since 2016 with the Regera. That was their first car where they were actually like, wow, they're pushing with technology. And obviously, like, the one-to-one -one was a pretty good one, but... Also, I don't think they had the first moving rear wing. Because the McLaren P1 from 2013 did that style of wing before Regera did that. And if you're on about, like... First one speed. No. Prius. That's a one speed. I'm pretty sure it was. I know Toyota, I, I don't know, I think it might have been the fit. Definitely is a one speed. But that thing, the engine do, pretty much does not kick in. It's getting away from me. I mean, in terms of, like, having a single speed electric and petrol car, Koenigsegg is the first one that's pulled it off efficiently for speed. I, I'm convinced it might have been the way that it was mounted, like a top-mounted aero wing. I think they might have the first top-mounted. But they definitely didn't have the first wing. I mean, this has an active wing. So it definitely wasn't the first moving rear wing. I think it might have been top mounted. Yeah, the first moving top mounted rear wing. You know, that other Bugatti was getting very close for comfort. We've got seven grand for that and level 44, which gives us a sailing number two Conrad Motorsports S7R, which means we're definitely going to have to buy an F1 car. Uh, F1? R1. That's what I meant to say. We're going to have to buy an R1 car. They didn't have Formula 1 in this game. I wish they did. Here's the sailing and it's yellow and it's horrible and I don't like it. Such a disgusting car. Saline is not beautiful. This is uglier than that Bugatti, and you can agree with me on that, Zeno. All right, so we're here for the 10-cylinder salute. 
Uh, in all honesty, I had no clue what card to take, so I'm taking the fucking Carrera. Don't at me. I don't care. Uh, starting off with Sebring, moving on to Sunset Peninsula, and then Camino Via de Montserrat. Let's go. I'm not going to lie. So, I think when it comes to once I finish Horizon 3, I know for a fact this mega series is going to start getting more boring because Horizon 3 is pretty much the last Forza game that I'm going to enjoy in this. Like, Motorsport 5 is, eh, it's okay. Motorsport 6 I'm not going to enjoy. But Horizon 1, 2, and 3 are going to be awesome. Motorsport 7, Horizon 4, and Horizon 5 are going to be tough to play. Oh, fuck. Pop. I spun me car. Lovely. <laughs> He's done a Paul Walker. I can't believe you misspelled Paul Walkie th three times. Paul Walkie! The engine's weird in this thing. It's like a... been thunder for fucking hours now. I mean, to be honest, the Carrera does have a 10-cylinder in it. So, the Hurricane is a, is a V10. I wouldn't be surprised if they use, like, the Gallardo engine noise. Because I know this car doesn't sound like a Gallardo. But they probably use a similar... Like, let's be honest, they don't all have the same... All have custom recorded engine noises in this game. That's for a fact. The only one I think that has been custom is that McLaren F1 GT that was in Motorsport 2. That engine noise was out of this world. Don't think anything sounded that great. Lightning out of the corner of my eyes. Gran Turismo has... I think the engine noises of Gran Turismo Sport and GT7 are amazing. They're really good. But you then compare it to their old stuff. Like, GT6 and before were all just vacuum cleaners. Not GT Sport. GT Sport used to be pretty good. The old older games were terrible. It sounded like they got a, a stable tone of an engine, like, they got the sound of an engine when it's revving at, like, 6,000 RPM and then just pitch shifted it as it went through the revs, rather than actually, you know, recording how the engine sounds when it revs up. That's sort of what it sounded like. bad yeah it does sound a little bit like that so yeah everyone that's joined the stream today has a chance of being gifted a free sub at the end of the stream i'm not gonna lie the lamborghini murcielago is one of the most beautiful lamborghinis that has ever been made except for the reventon and the centenario I don't even know what the Centenario is designed off of. Because it looks nothing like... Here's the thing. When you think of it, the Reventon was a special edition of the Murcielago. They then made... I can't remember what the um, Hurricane one was. But they made a special version of the Hurricane. That was similar to the Hurricane, but it looked different. 
Was it the Sesto? Was the Sesto the special one that looked like the Gallardo? That was like the really powerful one-off Lamborghini that was inspired by the Gallardo, right? The Sesto Elemento. Yeah. So, they made like special cars, so you can only assume maybe that um, the Aventador's super version of it was maybe the Centenario, but... No. Because the Centenario doesn't look anything like the Aventador. The front is sort of completely different. The rear is completely different. Oh, yeah, the Aventador would probably be the Veneno, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense when you think of it that way. Yeah, the Veneno looks very much like the Aventador, yeah. Well, we haven't had a Huracan one yet. What the fuck is the Centenario? But I, in my opinion, think the Centenario is one of the most beautiful Lamborghinis that has ever been made. Besides the Reventon, but I think the Reventon is just quite old now. So in terms of like modern day Lamborghinis, the Centenario is my favourite and best looking. It's why it's in my dream garage. I would take... Out of my top five cars... That's actually a good question. Zeno, what would your uh, top five garage be? If you were to have five cars and that would be the only five cars you can have... What five would you take? Can be for practicality reasons, can be for anything. Like mine is four favorite cars and then a practical car, so. Ooh, 20% discount on valves and displacement upgrades. That goes for you as well, Cotto. What would you say? Also, not bad. Not bad with the license test. Yeah, the Centenario must have been its own car. But like... So yeah, the, the Centenario would be similar to something like the Egoista that they did. Or Egoista, however you say it. Because it is just a custom looking Lamborghini, but Lexus LFA, fair enough. So that's where we're matching. Yeah, I was going to say that's four. <laughs> I was going to say that's four cars there. So Lexus LFA will be your main car. Uh, Pagani's Honda Cinque. It's quite a nice car, actually. Convertible Pagani's Honda. This is, it's a good car. I'd say if I had a top 10 garage, I might have picked the Cinque, to be honest, because it is quite, quite a nice car, but it's, it's not in my top 5. Gets overtaken by those other ones. Oh, fuck, I forgot the Ferrari and Enzo existed. The Enzo's a nice one. I think it's a bit outdated, though, because Ferraris are more like... They're technologically advanced, but they don't age well when they start getting older. Especially the newer ones. I think the Enzo would also be in my top ten. But not in my top five. I do think it's an amazing car, though. It looks stunning from the outside. we got to think the interior... Like dated. So for me it wouldn't be. But the NSX 92. I think that's a fair shout. I think the NSX from 92 is a good good choice. That airtime was amazing. It's a good car. That wouldn't even get a thought into like any of my top Five, top ten, not even top twenty-five for me though. Um 
But yeah, personal preference at the end of the day. Uh, oh, no, I think... Oh, no, the LFA is Japanese, isn't it? Yeah, so never mind. I was going to say, I haven't got a Japanese car in there. I am the fucking Nis... Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, and I don't know what the EP3 Civic Type R looks like, so I couldn't say. But yeah, I think... I think that's a good list of five. I sort of went for like four ridiculous cars and then one, wow, three ridiculous cars. The LFA, the uh, Bugatti Veyron and the, uh, what was the other one? The Centenario. But then I just went 1973 GTR, something a little more down to earth, but still cool to own. And then the Tesla. Because, let's be honest, who wouldn't want to run around in an electric car? <laughs> fair enough, Zeno, fair enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Ah!